What's up everybody, Matt of Trades here. So welcome to my first actual trading video. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of what we're looking at right now. So this is the MES uh, futures chart. So basically each point here is worth $5 for every contract. Now, just a disclaimer, uh, we are just back testing. I have not actually um, yet yeah, traded with real money with futures. I have in other markets, but I'm just trying to learn futures right now. Um, so I am just back testing, learning how, how to do it. Yada yada. I thought I'd make a video, tell you what I've learned so far, and go through kind of a, a back testing session. Um, so again, 100 tick chart. This is the MES futures chart. And then we have MACD, everything is all default here. And this yellow line is the 200 exponential moving average. Two very popular uh, indicators here. So what we're gonna do for starters, so today is 11th. However, sorry, no, it's the 10th, November 10th. We are going back and back testing November 9th. So this is not live right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom out as far as we can. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line at the high. From what I can see here, and then another line at the low. So those are going to be obvious um, lines of uh, support and resistance. So keep an eye on those while we're back testing. Um, I'm not going to go through and do lines at other key points here just because my strategy doesn't necessarily involve um, support and resistance mostly. It's mostly looking at this MACD line and looking at where the price action is relative to the 200 um, EMA. Okay, so how we're going to do this is I'm going to use the um, risk reward tool. Um, we're going to do a 1-1 one, one ratio, kind of going back. That's what I found to be the most profitable for me. And I'm not saying my way is the best way, but it is what I found to be the best uh, with my strategy. So without further ado, here we go. We're just going to use the arrow keys to move forward. As soon as we see something, I'll kind of go through what I'm doing. The first thing I notice is that we're in a slight uptrend right here. Uh, however, we are in this kind of choppy area. Um, and I don't really like to take trades um, when price is going in and out or through um, the 200 EMA. So we'll just go through here. All right, so we're in a nice uptrend. Now what I'm going to look for is this right here. Now you want to be careful. Well, I guess let me explain what I'm looking for. So we're in an uptrend. I'm waiting for a cross below the zero line, and then depending on how far down this goes, I will either go long or short. If it looks like the trend is changing, which right here uh, kind of does. However, we're gonna take a trade. We're gonna go long right, right here. Draw the stop just below right here and then I'm going to adjust the one to one ratio and then I'm going to go forward and see if it's a good trade okay not a good trade oh and also let me explain how I do the contract so um, I do two contracts when I back test one that has a um, uh, a limit just one point above um, and then the other will go would go straight um, to this uh, this stop here or the limit sorry that way if a trade does kind of reverse and go against you you're not losing as much so I basically gained five dollars here um, but I lost five ten fifteen so I actually only lost $10, so we're going to use a calculator here to keep track. So we're at $10. All right, moving forward. So there's actually another thing to look at here. Um, however, I think we are 
kind of looking to go down. So right now I'm going to look to go short. Same thing, except when I do this, I like to go um, below where the price action currently is so that I can get a little bit of uh, confirmation. So we're going to go right here, set the stop. Let's go like do at least two points generally, but let's go right, uh, right here. One to one ratio. Let's see. All right. So at this point, I decide that the trade is not good. So we didn't do that. So now continue to look through. Okay. Another opportunity right here. I so cross is right there. All right. So it has made a pretty big move here. I do think it's going to continue on this uptrend. So I'm going to wait for a little bit of pullback here. Okay. And I probably go long right here. Get a little bit of confirmation. Um, set my stop. Let's go two points down. One to one. Oh, I just realized this needs to be negative 10 because we're negative 10 so far. Okay. And we do get shorted out. Okay. So that's another trade we lost. That right there, so it's very short, so that's only uh, minus 20. Okay, now we look for the next trade. Toppiness now looks like it's going to go down, so now we're looking for a cross above. This zero line, not quite getting it. Nope. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now it looks like we're going back into an uptrend. So I'm going to place a trade. I would place a trade right here above the price. So we have some confirmation probably about right here. Stop is right there. Just two points. Again to one ratio all right so we're filled right here Let's see if it goes up and it looks like we have another losing trade um we did not get filled on our one point here however we did lose this trade so that's 10 Minus 20 again. Now it is common to get a streak of losing trades. Uh, to worry about. Okay, so we're now we're pretty choppy. Looking for a clear, okay, no. Looking for a clear trend in either direction. Here we go. Now we're looking for it to cross below the zero end. Okay, so right here. Um, this looks pretty choppy, not really going in one direction or the other. I don't think I'm going to do anything there. Okay, which is good because I probably would have gone long there. We would have lost that. All right, so now we're going to downtrend. No cross. And... I always find it's better to actually wait for the cross rather than think, you know, jump the gun a little early thinking that it's going to cross. That will get you into trouble. And I found that uh, that's not worth doing. So wait for the actual cross. So we cross here. Um, it does look like it's going up a little bit. So I do think that it's going to continue and maybe even kind of shoot up a little bit here. So I'm going to place a trade. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go right here. Stop loss. Let's probably go right here. 
one to one. All right, let's see if we get filled. All right, we're filled. So we're in the trade now. Ba -ba, okay, and we're out. <laughs> Man, this is not going how I'd like it to. So that trade is, however, we did get the one point here. So uh, five, five, 10, 17 and a half. Um, minus five, so 13 and a half is what we lost on this trade. Now we're down that amount. Okay. It's choppy. Don't want to take trades in this. All right, so now we're in a downtrend. Wait for the cross. All right, here we go. Now we're also at this level of resistance here. Um, it is pretty choppy. I do not think it would be wise to place a trade here because we really could just honestly go in either direction. However, as long as we Place our trade where there's some confirmation in the direction, I think we'll be okay. So we'll do this. One to one ratio. All right. All right. At this point, I'm just going to cancel that. I'm not really doing anything still. Okay. So here we have another opportunity. Probably would go long here. Let's put it uh, right there and we'll put, let's do a good solid two points there, right at that line. One to one. Okay. All right, we're filled. And all right, so we have our first winning trade. We had, uh, got our limit top right there. So we got 10, 20, so that's plus 20. So now we're at negative 43, all right. Now keep in mind, we're also only 42 minutes into this trading session, technically. All right more choppiness, not looking to do anything. All right, downtrend. All right, and we have a maybe cross. Soon as it, okay. So this is the perfect setup in my eyes. So it goes clear downtrend and then the trend shifts noticeably. And then what I've noticed in my back testing is when it crosses here, it tends to do something drastic in one direction or the other. So we're going to place a trade right here so that we have some confirmation to the stop loss just below where the price is right now. And of course, one to one. Okay, we're filled right here. Right there, okay. Okay, so keep in mind, so this most likely would not have worked or gotten gotten sold um, because it has to go through where down here it only has to touch. Okay, so right there. So this trade's good for 10, 20, 22 and a half dollars. So, so now we're down. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Plus 22.5. Right. There we go. So now we're down $21. So now we're in a clear uptrend. Now we're waiting to see across below the zero line here. And maybe. Mm, so I'm not going to take a trade. If there's an uptrend that it, it uh, crosses below, I want to take these trades when it's still above the 200 
EMA. So I'm not going to do anything here. However, we are in a clear downtrend. And now, all right, nothing to do here. All right, uptrend. Not going to do anything there. Okay. Okay, so it's crossed. It's gone, uh, gone down. Got some choppiness. I'm going to go short. Um, make some confirmation right here. Stop right there. One. Okay, that filled right here. And then just, there we go. And then we got clean trade right here. So this is worth 10, 15, uh, 18, 75. All right, so now we're basically even. We've been trading, would have been trading for about an hour here. Okay. Now we're in a downtrend. All right, look for the cross here. All right, there it is. Um, I like the look of this. I'm going to go long. I'm going to put the confirmation right there. Right there. Number one. Okay, not filled. Okay, we didn't get filled. So that trade didn't happen. Okay. There's a really clear trend here, so I'm not gonna do anything. All right, now we're in an uptrend. Wait for the cross. Okay, went through the EMA, so I'm not gonna touch it. Choppy, all right. Mm, no, I'm not gonna do anything. Mm, no, went through the EMA here. All right, so now still kind of choppy. I'm not looking to trade this. Okay, so you can see that it's bounced off of this resistance here. Okay. And it doesn't want to do anything. However, usually when you're at a key point of uh, support or resistance, it's going to stick around at that line for a little while. Um, but when it moves, it's going to move pretty big. So it might not be the worst idea to do a trade in either direction. Um, overall sentiment. Overall sentiment looks like it's up. So I think it wants to go up. But I don't want to do anything. The idea of trading is not to... I mean, the idea is to make money, but the thought process should be to protect your money first. Yeah, this is just a mess. All right, mm, still choppy. All right, so now we're... Honestly, I probably would have looked to go long here. I did jump ahead a little bit, but I probably would have put right there. The, ooh, I mean, around this point, I would have gotten out. Choppy. All right. Mm. No. Now we're back here. Okay, here, there's that big move I was talking about, so I'd probably look to go long. Probably right here. And then I'd probably go two points. Okay, so we got filled right there. Okay, make sure we're at our one to one ratio that we love. 
Uh, okay, so we would have won this trade. If I could. There we go. The one right there. Let's get for 10, 20, $25. So we're officially in the green, about an hour and a half in. Uh, okay. So here, it's kind of flattened out a little bit. Price really isn't going anywhere. The line has crossed. Um, ideally, I would have liked to see this kind of go down a little bit. So I'm not going to look for a trade here. Oh, okay. So now we're uptrend. Okay, so now, all right, this is just be choppy. I'm not going to look for a trade here. Okay, uptrend. Okay, here we go. So if this crosses, all right, we're going to go short for sure. This is one of my favorite. Uh, looking setups so where it's a clear uptrend and then it kind of fizzles in a downward direction. Um, and then if this were to keep going and this were to cross a little bit sooner, like for instance, if it crossed right here, that would have been perfect because it shot down. However, I do think that it's going to continue this downtrend, but it's going to do something like that. So we're going to put our entry right on the moving average stop right there one ratio and we were wrong but this is why we just don't jump in the trade typically right where the price action is we want to put it somewhere where we're gonna have a little bit of confirmation so we're gonna get out of this trade and look for the next one so now we're in a, um, okay, same thing, I'm going to go look to go short here with confirmation, stop two points up, okay. And the thing you want to look for is um, when you're going short is lower highs and lower lows. And we are getting that so far. So I'm not going to get out. Here we go. We're in. Oops. So we're in right here. Okay. So it touched, but it didn't go through. But we did get that one point here. All right, there we go. Right there. So five, ten. So that's, oh, sorry, ten, twenty. So that's good for twenty. Because there's two contracts. And now we're up officially forty-two dollars seventy-five cents. Right, choppy. Okay, so there was a clear downtrend and now it's kind of reversed and going back up. We have a um, higher high right here and a higher low. We have a ton of reversal bars here, so it's kind of gone down a little bit. So I suspect this is going to keep going up. However, we'll allow ourselves a little bit of room for error by placing the entry about right here. Good solid two point loss. All right. So I'm getting out right here because I believe or I see that this low is not continuing the trend of being a higher low, it is lower than this. So at this point, I'm out. Now we're 
chop my downtrend. Da, 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 da. Mm. <clears throat> no, don't want to do anything there. Too choppy. Okay. Okay, so I think this is good to go long. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With good confirmation, of course. I'm going to go just below where this uh, line is. Let's see if we get filled. And nope, continues to go down. Trend waiting for this to go. Nope. All right. Okay, so here we go. We have a clear downtrend and then a trend reversal. And I think it's going to continue to go up. So I'm going to place my entry right here. Stop right here. Okay. Um, we officially get filled right here. Now it's probably gonna go down a little bit, but then continue in the direction that we want. Or we'll get a loss right here. However, I would not be surprised if this continued back up. So this is a loss of 10, 20, let's see, 10, 20, 30, so 27 and a half. Okay, look for the next trade, downtrend. We'll wait for the cross at the zero. Mm. This one is tempting. It did go through the line here though, and this 200 EMA does naturally act as support and resistance. That's why it always gets kind of choppy at this line. So I think what I'll do is I'll place an order with plenty of room for error. We'll go right there for our stop. Okay, so we did get filled. And we did lose this trade right here. Which stinks. So that's 10, 20, 30, so that's minus 30. And we are in the red again. Okay, chop, chop, okay, oh, still choppy, nothing, choppy, choppy, all right, uptrend, and no, don't want to do anything there, still choppy, all right, here's a clear downtrend, so I'm now going to wait for the line, okay, here we go, to cross, There it is. So this is kind of what I like to see, clear downtrend into very slow pullback. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go long. We're gonna put it right there. Okay, let's see what happens. And we're wrong. But we didn't get filled, so we just exit. Still downtrend. Okay. All right, so we have an opportunity right here. Same thing. Pull back, and then if this trend continues, 
We'll go long. Okay, so that's this is exactly um, a pattern what I was looking for. This is the pattern that I like to see. Uh, it's been pretty consistent. And boom. So we're 10, 20, 28, 75. So now we're $14 up. Now keep in mind if we were trading uh, the ES chart, um, each one of these uh, lines is worth $50 for every contract. So keep in mind, if we were trading on a more expensive chart, we would actually be up $140. So I know $14 doesn't seem like a lot, but when you are comfortable with putting more skin in the game, um, more money, this $14 is all of a sudden $140, which is a pretty good profit for... Uh, Let's see, it's, it's almost four o'clock, or sorry, it's almost two o'clock, which is when the market's closed and when I typically stop back testing because the price, the weird things in after hours, it's not quite as consistent as I'd like. Um, not going to do anything here. All right, choppy. All right, clear downtrend. Um, I don't like how far this moved in such a short amount of time. But if that does continue in that uptrend, if there's a reversal right here, we're going to want to be in it. But we're going to move our entry pretty high up, probably, probably about right here. And then our stop right there. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so it does continue the downtrend, which I'm glad we didn't get filled. Wouldn't have gotten filled. Looking for another cross zero here. Okay. There we go. So this is another one of those steps that I really like, where it's clearly downed and then kind of goes back. Not very strong, like it's not like that, but then we have to cross right here. So let's put our entry right at that line, or stop right about right there. One to one. We would have gotten filled right here. And okay, so that's a loser of a trade. <clears throat> um ten twenty, let's see, ten twenty, so twenty two and a half. So we are down. Okay, back to the downtrend, and it's almost two. Let's see if this crosses. Okay, let's do trade here. Trade right here. Stop right there. One to one. Okay. So we did not get filled. Let's see if there's one more trade before market closes. Right. There. Let's 
go along right here. Let's go down two points. Small trade. Okay, we're filled. And we have a good trade right there. 10, 20, so we're plus 20. So overall, we would be up $11.05, which doesn't seem like a lot, but like I mentioned earlier, if this were the more expensive ES chart where each one of these lines, each point is worth $50, this would be $115, basically just move a decimal point, which is okay. That's, uh, that's profit for sure. Well, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. I look forward to doing some more of these.